the Museum and Art Gallery in Hobart has brought out a treasure trove of colonial medicine. It belonged to Australia's first known pharmacist. Reporter Cara Douglas has had a look inside. Henry Hinsby arrived in Van Diemen's Land in 1835. And was known as the father of pharmacy in, in Australia, in Tasmania. The English pharmacist brought with him a medicine chest. He used it to treat convicts at the probation station near Port Arthur before opening a chemist in Hobart. He brought it from England on the boat with him and uh, uh, thanks to uh, his neighbour it was donated to the museum. The Tasmanian Museum and Art Gallery acquired the chest in 1934 and has put it on display to celebrate the 175th anniversary of its arrival in Australia. These small glass bottles and jars contained powders and emulsions to treat pain, fevers and to flush out the system. Things like opiates and um, quinine are quite common um, and lots of um, strangely named things that we wouldn't get today but usually based on homeopathic remedies, some um, plants. One of the jars still contains an original powder ground from Peruvian bark which was used to reduce a fever. The wooden velvet lined chest also held bloodletting cups and scales to measure out powders. So it was a very self-sufficient medical kit that you had on the ready for all those nasty diseases and fevers that you got at that time. While times have changed, the Hinsby Medicine Chest offers a reminder of just how far modern medicine has come. Cara Douglas, ABC News.